Hey guys, welcome to MNMM Plants. Uh, I always acknowledge and I always encourage as well that you should check your plants regularly, your indoor plants, your outdoor plants regularly. At least once a week, you should look at your plants properly, upside down, leaves, to see if there is any pest attack. Because if you do that on a regular basis, that's when if there is any pest attack, you will get that knowledge at the initial level and you don't have to wait for the plant to almost die and then you start doing some you know remedies so i always check my plants regularly last week i found that a few indoor plants of mine had a uh, mealybugs attack not last week i think actually three four days ago so i wanted to treat them and also share that what is the first thing i would do if i do not have uh, the organic insecticide because today i went to the uh, you know local nursery i got my look um, i mean the organic insecticide and i'm going to spray it all everywhere but to stop it immediately what should i do so first things first whatever i will be doing i will do it in the evening time when the sun is down when it's not too hot and i'll only do it in the evening not in the morning not in the afternoon so please make sure you understand that now the first thing is i'll take a bowl of cold water it's cold water i'll put some drop of hand sanitizer let's say four drops that's enough and i'll mix it properly so i have a painting brush you can just use a normal cloth as well i'll just mix it properly now if the leaves are small it is best to use a painting brush like this but if the leaves are broad and big like this uh, eglonema then you can use a normal thin cloth like this a very thin cloth this is a very thin cloth so I can simply dip the cloth in here, just get rid of the extra water and now I can wipe my leaves. Now a lot of you might be thinking, oh this is tedious, yes it is tedious but it is still better than you know letting your plants die, especially the indoor plants, they are so expensive these days. So I'll quickly wipe as many leaves as I can and I'll wipe it upside down, don't just wipe it on the top surface and even if there is no pest i would at least wipe it once now not only i'll do it on the plant where i see the pest pest attack i'll also do it for the neighboring plants because for pest it is very easy to uh, you know travel and spread to the plant next to the plant that is already infected so i'll do that now next to this plant of mine i have another eglonema over here now if you have a look on the leaves of this plant, I can share you how the pest will look like. Very small. Have a look. I'm not sure if you are able to have a look, but there is, there are so many pests on this leaf. Now I'll just use the painting brush. Obviously I have first dipped it inside water and sanitizer solution. Now if you have a look, all the white pests have turned brown. I'm sorry if you're not able to have a clear look, but yes, they have gone brown. Why? Because they are now dead. The alcohol is the reason that they are all dead now. And I'll do it on the both on both the sides of the leaves. Now, obviously, this is very time consuming. I absolutely agree. But still, if you don't have anything at your home to kill the mealybugs, spider mites, aphids, this is not bad because these days, hand sanitizer is like a basic necessity and everybody has it it's a good thing to use as well don't worry your plants will not die because you have mixed your hand sanitizer in cold water so they won't die and only use four three four drops of hand sanitizer in a bowl don't overdo it if you want you can also mix dishwash liquid or a little bit of turmeric powder but obviously if you are mixing turmeric powder please do this outside the house because otherwise if you do it inside the house the turmeric powder water will just create a lot of mess and where you see pest over there you should do it like two three times like this just repeat the process we want them to die now if you have neem oil you can use neem oil as well just dilute it using water after reading the instructions on the bottle and you can use neem oil similarly with a paint brush or with a cloth and you can just use it i just find it easy to use the paint brush 
especially when the leaves are small and thin like this. It's just convenient for me. And because you are doing this in the evening time, it's not hot so it will not harm your plants. And not only the leaves, I'll make sure I do the branches, the stems and have a look. Using the paint brush, it's so easy to get inside, you know, these branches. Yes, spraying is a good option as well. If you feel that this is too much work for you, spraying is a good option. But I feel when I do this, it's like straight away going on the pest. And you know, it's just killing them instantly. I'll just do one more and show it to you. This is again one of my Eglonema plant. Very beautiful Eglonema. Doing great. Love it a lot. Now let me do it with my cloth, a very thin cloth. Let's just wipe it. First I'll quickly wipe it from the top part. And then from the bottom part. And it's all nice and clean. So you have cleaned your plant, the pests are gone and you know the plant will be fresh. You've saved your plant's life. So do you use this method, you know, whenever you see any mealybugs or aphids or any other pest, even spider mites for that matter, and your plants uh, will have a healthy life because you're taking care of them. Now, if you have a look at the water, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's very dirty and there's so much of dirt in there, which means I have at least cleaned my plant as well if there were no pest. And when your leaves are cleaned, it becomes very easy for the leaves to, you know, breathe to absorb the energy from atmosphere and the plant will be healthy because not only roots play an important part uh, for making the food but also the leaves because it's very easy for leaves to absorb water and energy from atmosphere so leaves should be clean for your plants do this method do a lot of gardening and i'll see you next time with the next video bye